All right, what's up guys? Today I wanna to talk about how to set up Klaviyo flow triggers for your email sequences. My name is Zach Schiefer, I'm the founder of ZHS Ecom, and that's an email and SMS agency that's currently helping our clients do about two million per month from these two channels alone. So we set up Klaviyo flows and triggers and conditional splits all of the time. So I'm gonna make a quick tutorial on how to do that. So uh, first you wanna just log into your Klaviyo account. So just go to klaviyo.com and hit the button in the top right and log in. So now you're gonna be on this screen. Then you can go to the flows tab and you can see all your flows that you already have set up right here. In this case, we wanna create a new flow in the top right. And then now we have all these different templates that you can just use, or you can hit this build your own flow in the top right if you wanna start from scratch. But just to make things easy, we'll set up a simple welcome flow. Um, what we can do is see all of your different uh, options right here just by clicking your integration. And then we can search up uh, welcome flow. All right, welcome series right there, that's perfect. And then you wanna make sure you're calling it something you're gonna remember. So in this case, welcome series test. You can add your tags if you'd like to. And then you wanna make sure that newsletter, you're selecting your main subscriber list to trigger your flow. So if everyone is in the newsletter list, that's perfect. If it's in something like all emails, um, you can choose that, but this is gonna be your trigger. So in this case, when someone joins the newsletter, they're gonna get this series of emails. So then you can hit create flow Awesome, and there's the template, it's set up already. Um, we have the trigger in the top right, and there's a couple things that you're gonna want to know about. So you have trigger filters and profile filters. So trigger filters are gonna limit the trigger to only certain events. So if you want the uh, flow to trigger based off of you know abandoned carts above $300, then you can set that. Um, it's not currently in the, the welcome flow, but if it was an abandonment flow, you can set up a, a trigger filter. In this case, you can do a profile filter so you can limit the flow to only certain profiles. So in this case, if you only want to set the welcome flow to uh, people based in the United States, you can add a profile filter there and you can select conditions and things like that. Um, but these are gonna be um, in the top right. You have trigger filters and flow filters. And then here are gonna be your emails. So this is an email here, this is an email here. And if you wanted to add more, you can simply go to email right there and you can click on this template and you can you know, select a template and actually set it up. But in this case, um, the template is already gonna, already gonna be set up for you and you just have to customize it. So uh, that's how to set up and how to add an email. And you're also gonna wanna set up these time delays. So you, if you wanna do like two days, you can set up that and you can delay until a specific time of the day. So if you wanted to do like uh, 9 a.m., you can set that and hit save. And then you could also do things like conditional splits. So if you want to, uh, right here, if you want to just, if you want people that say yes to this condition, they can go on this side. If they say no to the condition, they go on this side, which is really great to make your flow a little bit more advanced. And then, yeah, you just go in here, set up the template by um, hitting edit. Of course, this email that they give you, it doesn't look that great, but you can go in here and you can add images, you can do Figma slices, um, you could add links and really whatever you need. Um, awesome, all right, so um, kind of leave that there. And then finally, once everything is set up, you have this conditional split. In this case, this conditional split is placed order at least once over all time. Um, if no, they're gonna go on this side. If yes, they go on this side. Uh, you can set up these, uh, these emails, these conditional splits. Then at that point, uh, you can go in here and you can update all action statuses and then you can set it live and update statuses. Or if you just wanna set certain emails live, you can go here and you can set this email live if you'd like to. Um, for now, we're gonna keep it as a draft. Awesome, all right, um, that was the tutorial. If you're running a DTC Ecom brand, you really have two options. You can try to implement everything yourself or you can hire an expert to help you add revenue. That's what my company does. So our recommendation is to check out ZHS dash ecom.com and book a call there so we can talk about a win-win partnership. Appreciate your time.